This is Jeffrey Aaron reporting tonight from Dubai. We are here to find out what's new and next during a year stacking up to be more turbulent than anyone had expected. Uh, my name is Peter Sedgley. I'm the Senior Vice President of Cargo Commercial Operations for Emirates Sky Cargo. Mr. Sedgley, sir, what is the top priority right now? Well, basically, <clears throat> obviously, because of the world economic situation, um, the, glo you know, the global trade patterns, etc., we have got to um, structure ourselves and ensure that our business, you know, we've got continuity of business, that we actually um, control the business and come out of this, um, you know, with the, with the minimum amount of damage. I mean, we, we at Emirates are, are very confident that we can uh, realign our, our, our sales efforts, we can, we can actually sell our way out of this using you know, the positives of, our, uh, of, of how we find ourselves. We've got a very modern fleet, we've got a very good, good um, <coughs> route network, etc. So you know, we're applying all our, all our if you like, energies to optimising and, and rationalising the business that we do, controlling the costs. We feel that, you know, yes, we will come out of this and we'll come out of it a much better, much stronger airline, as you've already alluded to. The fact that, you know, this is a time when we need to look at the, 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 the processes, the quality of what we're doing, uh, ensure that we are, in actual fact, uh, optimising best practices. What do you say to the reports in some of the media of the uh, situation in Dubai? There's, there's a lot of speculation in, in terms of, you know, uh, people... Uh, saying, well, look, you know, the, the, the bubble has burst, etc. The, the Dubai government, um, you know, haven't undertaken the, 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 the or the, the government of the UAE, indeed, haven't undertaken that this this, this program of expansion, development, etc., as as a sort of a, a one-off whim. This is this is structured. It's planned. And it will progress, and and, and it has a, a sound economic and commercial basis to it. So that yes, there there will be there will be a necessity to to review certain certain aspects of, of 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 the undertakings that they have, and say, well, look, that's not a priority at this point in time. There is um, a, a you know globally there is there's obviously concern in the banks about liquidities, etc. But. I think that if anywhere in the world is capable of coming out of this stronger, Dubai will come out of it stronger, better and more focused. What makes Sky Cargo a great organization and I suppose in your opinion a survivor organization in the 21st century and a leader as well? Um, I think that's a bit difficult for me to answer really, Jeffrey. Well, you helped build it, so I figured I'd go right to the right to the source here and, you know. I don't want to sound uh, self-congratulatory, self-laudatory or, or, or arrogant in all of this. I think that we've had tremendous support from our owners um, who had a, a vision for Dubai. We are part of that vision of Dubai. Um, We've been given um, a lot of latitude in terms of how, how we do our business. Um, when we set out, one of the things that I always remember that the chairman, um, Sheikh Ahmed, said is that he wanted cargo passengers, uh, cargo customers, sorry, yeah. afforded the same considerations and respect as the, as the passenger counterparts. And, and basically, what that's unusual. <laughs> yeah, and, and basically, what the, the vision of, 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 of Dubai is, um, and especially of Sheikh Ahmed, that we will we will always strive to deliver service excellence um, in a profitable way, of course. Um, and, 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 and you know, this is fundamental to the the, 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 the you know the, the philosophy of the ruling family is that yes you undertake um, commercial enterprises to make a profit you don't you don't do it because it seems like a good idea at the time um, so yes Dubai, you know emirates has always been very strongly commercial it's had to stand on its own two feet because of of of, of that fact and you look at how we've evolved and the periods that we've evolved through. Yeah. There have been wars, there has been SARS, yeah. there's been all these, there's been economic turmoil in the yeah. 80s, yeah. etc. So, yes, you know, um, this is not new to us. You know, we've always been sort of surrounded, if you like, by these challenges. And, and, and so we've always kept the organisation pretty lean. We've always kept it the management structure pretty flat um, so that we can we, we can take advantage of, of opportunities and also that we can manage risk down and challenges down 
And I think that, that really the, the, the success of Emirates is due to the fact that we, we, we listen to what people say, we are not um, hidebound by legacy, and uh, we, we, we will um, see a lot of the time challenges as opportunities. And I think that that, that sort of pioneering spirit is fundamental to Emirates and, and, and the success of Sky Cargo. If you'd like further information on developing air cargo topics, go to www.aircargonews.com. If you'd like a free subscription to Air Cargo News and to our thrice weekly publication, Flying Typers, write to me, Jeffrey, at aircargonews.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching and keep them flying.